Welcome to FS17 on the OGF USA map. Today we'll be doing some towing and rebuilding with our 2018 Ford F450 record. We'll be making our way over to a new shop here in our 2001 Chevy 1500 Silverado. This is an extended cab and it's in really good condition for being a 01 year. We'll be heading out here to our new shop which is very exciting. Recently we did move here to a new shop and to this new map. We will be using our 2018 Ford F450 record to tow one pickup truck and then we'll be switching over to repo mode and we'll be repoing a pickup truck and then we will be repoing a double header which is a tandem axle trailer along with a UTV from one person so it will be a very busy day here for us but we will be going by uh, the people's works, their houses, any addresses on file and it will be as realistic as we can here in FS17 and hope all of you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. This 01 Silverado is a great daily driver. It is a V6. We do save a little bit on gas and I really do like it a lot. This is a great body style and I do want to feature more and more old trucks. I feature a lot of brand new ones including uh, years 2017, 2018 and soon to be 2019 but it's going to be nice to get uh, some older trucks here in the, the videos as well and this is an awesome one. It is uh, for the most part stock as well which is pretty cool we'll get this backed up here and let's hop in the f450 we just received a call that a bright red pickup truck is blocking the loading docks at the local ogf shipping area so let's hop in that and big shout goes out to super duty modding for sending me over the cab and i put it onto this truck this thing looks awesome i really do like the extended cabs as well and we could have probably done a regular cab but i think that uh, this is a great setup it's a pretty uh, short wheelbase as well which is great for maneuvering uh in areas uh tow trucks having a short wheelbase is always helpful so we'll get that gate closed we always want to make sure our shop is locked up and let's head over to the uh, shipping area it's a bright red truck right in the middle of the way and they've tried to contact the owner but uh no response and nobody is uh claiming it as their own truck so we'll you know go tow for them and it's actually right up over here to our uh, right, and you guys can see, take a look at that, quite a lot of trucks, and I don't see it, there it is, wow, right in the middle, looks like they have some pallets up top that need to go out, so we'll put this down, and let's kind of get backed up here, I really do like these records a lot, there is many ways that we can make it uh, more realistic, changing out the tow bar for when it goes underneath the tires would be a very nice thing as well. We'll get this lifted up and perfect, we got the truck up. I usually like to have it at most a foot off the ground. No need to have it too high. The higher we go, the lighter our front will be. And we'll just make sure four wheel drive is off. It looks like it is and awesome. So it looks like we are good to go. Usually this would be kind of pretty much right where this is and it would lift it up there. But this looks good. Let's hop back here in our truck and the F450 is squatting quite a bit. Wow, it's going to be a heavy truck. And probably the biggest one we could tow is like a F350 or a 3500 Dually. That looks to be pretty much it. And maybe one day we'll kind of run into that. And we recently did pick up some new clients for farming equipment repos. So stay tuned for that. That will be pretty cool as well. We are now working out the contract. And then we will be reboing tractors. That will be pretty exciting. Now this truck does have an interior, which is also a great feature. I will definitely have to get the steering wheel to work and to kind of move the camera a little bit more to be centered with the wheel. And we'll uh, kind of bring this around back. Now one thing I definitely want to try to do is put all the vehicles kind of along this side. That way it's kind of hidden. You can't really see it from the roadway. And probably even in the middle area would be good. Yeah, so we'll just put it in the middle. And I think up next, let's go after the pickup truck. It's going to be a bit tricky. We will have to go by his work first since it is uh, out those type of hours as well. And that looks to be nice. So we'll definitely pull forward here, turn off our light bar, and we'll go by his work. 
Now, usually when a vehicle is up for repo, the person will tend to kind of hide it on us, and it seems to be the case with this one. So he might not be at work, he might be, but that's the best place to go first. We'll go over there, check it out, and then it will go by his house, and we don't really want to uh, stop at his house unless it's there. We don't want to draw attention that a wrecker is out looking for his truck, because then he's going to put it into hiding, and that won't be good here for us. But I really do like this OGF USA map. It's a great map, perfect for repo and towing and a lot of different things as well. If you haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at score 2440 as well as Twitter. I do post daily pictures over there and his office uh, building is coming up right here to the right. I see a few SUVs, that's pretty much all I see. We'll take a right and let's take a look. No need to really go walk the parking lot unless we kind of see the truck. I do see a white truck. But it is, it looks to be a lizard truck, yeah. So our truck is a 06 Ford F350 crew cab, six and a half a bed. So we'll go by his house now and we'll check it out. We got a green light, which is nice. And I believe his house is over here. It definitely should be. So we'll definitely drive by and we don't want to uh, go near uh, his driveway unless we see it. And I kind of see a white vehicle through there. Actually, we could probably continue down. We'll continue down and we'll kind of park over here. There should be some sort of parking. We're definitely just kind of pull off to the side road here, get our hazard lights on, our LED light bar, and let's quickly walk over there. I see a truck and I don't really want to go too, too far. So let's kind of come over here and I see it, guys. I see a truck. Uh, it wasn't at his work and now we tried his house and here it is. Wow. A very nice condition it is matching and uh, take a look at that. So yes, this is it. And this is actually a 2011 F350. It looks like uh, we got it wrong and that's okay. Uh, now looking at the paperwork, we are good. And you always have to check the VIN number. That's uh, unique per vehicle as well. So we'll get this put into reverse here. Let's kind of just back down. We don't want to uh, take too long because he could have seen us walking on his property. And that is not a good thing. Luckily though, this is like a shared driveway between the houses. That's great. Otherwise, definitely going to cause some troubles there with getting him spooked. We'll back up here and we'll get this uh, grabbed. And I do want to lift it a little bit higher. That looks good there. And we do want to put chains on it, strap it down to lift. Awesome. So we got this tire strapped down. We'll come over to the other side. And we got that one in. Also, you do have to put lights out here. It would be a pretty cool thing if we could kind of use magnetic uh, and just put lights on either side. That would be a pretty cool thing. But we got this attached. This is a pretty heavy truck, one of the bigger trucks uh, that our F450 can tow. Looks like it's doing a very nice job though, especially, I mean, it's a 2018, it's a brand new truck and we are pushing it to its limits. Taking us a little bit while to get rolling. Other than that though, it, I mean, this F450 does a nice job. It is squatting quite a bit in the back. Maybe getting an air suspension would be a very interesting thing. Might look into that. That would help out with the leveling of the truck. We'll make this turn here. And the truck is so heavy, it's taking us a little bit while to get accelerated. But once we do, I mean, we just continue to accelerate pretty realistically. And there's a car coming. Hopefully we can get this open before they come through. The cars really just like to kind of hit us. So we'll try to get in. We are back here at our shop now with our first repo of the day. The next one is a bit trickier. It is actually a UTV. It's a JCB a workman along with a tandem axle trailer. It's a small tandem axle trailer though, but it is heavy. So we'll try to go after those. And what I'm going to be doing here for all these towing and rebuilding videos is to kind of lower the amount that we repo and uh, so that we could check the addresses, do things like that, and just uh, unload the trucks and cool things like that but let me know your feedback guys should we use one truck per video to do all the jobs or should we use our uh whole fleet like our flap at our other record let me know your feedback i usually did use multiple tow trucks but I, in the last video we used one vehicle which was a f650 rollback and a lot of you guys really did like that so i thought why not do it again especially since we get to use this brand new 450 
We'll have to quickly get this locked up. And let's go right over to the house. That should be where it is. And it's going to be a bit tricky, I will have to say. Hopefully it's loaded up onto each other. If not, we'll have to find both. And one thing also about this F450 is that we'll be getting a laptop put here on the inside. Along with some other things here to kind of go along with like uh, we are... A repo agent and repo is where a customer takes out a loan uh, buy something but doesn't pay it and the bank wants it back now these lights are a bit different not uh, as they are too American I will have to say because they go uh, red yellow green I kind of like it though at the same time it's pretty nice we got a green light over here we'll take this street and his house could be off here I'm not exactly sure pretty new to the town and we'll just have to kind of drive around and find it. And this house matches the description. And I see the trailer, guys. I see it. So what we'll do is, uh, actually caught me off the guard just a little bit. Sometimes this happens. We'll get the tow bar uh, put down just a little bit. We'll get backed in. And we cannot touch the trailer or the UTV. It's actually loaded up onto it. Wow, that's going to be very helpful for us. We'll get backed up into position, but we have to take a quick look at it. And we'll check the VIN. The VIN is kind of down here. So that looks good there. And then you guys can see JCB Work Max. Uh, it's a very nice. We'll check the VIN. And... Uh, I see it. So awesome. So this is it. Wow. We were able to get it no problem. So we'll get this attached and we'll uh, check once again. The trailer isn't, uh, well, it has to be lowered quite a bit. Usually uh, you would tell a bit more realistically, but uh, this is how we have to do it. So the trailer is now sitting level, which is good. And wow, this repo was pretty uh, easy for us. We'll now head back over to our shop. And this is the last one of the day. So we get to end uh our day a little bit early we we're able to get all of them without going across town as well if you do have any core ideas here for this series please let me know down below here in the comments i do have lots more videos coming here with fs17 but i'm very excited for the brand new fs19 coming very soon i can't wait november 20th it's just around the corner it's coming uh and it's going to be pretty exciting stay tuned for some more forza horizon 4 that game is going to be pretty exciting, and I really do enjoy the game. Uh, we are posting one to two videos a week with that, and possibly some more spin cars and ATS here on the channel. But, I mean, that's been a pretty nice day for us. Uh, we got pretty much three repos on this trailer, and uh, this JCB Work Max is awesome that we were able to get it especially loaded onto the trailer i mean that saved us even more time and then that f-350 so we did do a very nice job here today it was a pretty busy day but we were able to get it done in a very nice amount of time but that will be pretty much it here for today i will be hopping back here in the o one chevy and i will make our way back over to house but thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more